Hello, my name is Randy Schoenberg, and I am a volunteer curator on the website Genie.com, which is the world's uh, best genealogical software for tree building. I want to talk to you today about a Google Chrome application called Smart Copy, which operates on Genie.com and really is a wonderful tool for genealogists and allows uh, quickly importing data from other sources such as Ancestry or MyHeritage trees. Smart Copy is a Google Chrome app that was developed by another curator, Jeff Gentes. And to use it, you really should be a pro user of Genie, so uh, someone who pays for a Genie subscription. And you'll have to uh, be authorized by one of the 200 curators on Genie. I'll show you how to do that. So. The starting point is this project, the Smart Copy Project on Genie. You can always find projects by clicking Research and selecting Projects and then searching for the project. So here's the Smart Copy Project. Here's the address. And the project will give you a very detailed description of the Smart Copy application and how it works. And I'm going to walk you through some of the features now. To download it, you first have to click on this blue button here and install Smart Copy on your computer so it works with your Google Chrome uh, application. When you do, you'll get this blue box with a black arrow up here in the upper right of your uh, Google Chrome web browser. In order to get authorized to use Smart Copy, you should go to one of the, uh, the project discussions. So you click over here on Discussions. Uh, it'll take you to this page and you see here Request Use of Smart Copy here. You can click on this discussion and then ask someone uh, one of the curators to authorize your use of Smart Copy. So let's go back here. Um, I have uh, a, an example of how you use Smart Copy. So here's a tree where when you click on these uh, or you hover over these blue circles, you'll see that there's added information over on MyHeritage. MyHeritage owns Genie, it's an affiliated company and they have their own subscriptions and uh, tree building service where people build small trees whereas Genie were building the world family tree all together like a giant jigsaw puzzle so it's a little bit of a different model. Uh, if you wanted to copy something over from these trees on MyHeritage you can do that using Smart Copy. So here on this one profile if I hover here I see a green Smart Match it's called over at MyHeritage and if I were to click on that it'll take me over to the uh, profile on MyHeritage. You see now we're on MyHeritage. I am a MyHeritage subscriber and so I can see all of this and use it. And you'll see there are several trees, two trees that have this same person, Zelma Haffer and same birth date, etc. But uh, the one on Genie, which is over here on the left, you can see that it only has the husband but doesn't have any other information. Whereas here, you can see the parents and siblings or on the profile. So if you click again on one of these uh, profiles in MyHeritage, now you're on a profile on MyHeritage and you can see the whole family listed down here, which is more than what we have on Genie. So what I do is I click this blue box up in the upper right, the Smart Copy box, box and we let Smart Copy operate. Uh, it first asks me to authorize the application, which I can do by clicking Authorize. And then it starts reading the profile from MyHeritage and comparing it to the profile we were just on, on Genie. And it will give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the information uh, on each one. So you can see it here, the Genie data is on the right, the MyHeritage one on the left, and you can see there's added information here that is not, uh, that is not already on Genie. So if you click here, you can click to update the profile, it'll add all of this information. The parents are clicked, siblings are clicked, the children, there's one that's private, we won't dump that over. But everything else we can send over just by hitting Submit. So if I click on Submit, it now copies that information over to Genie and enters it on Genie. While you're using Smart Copy, while it's operating like this, you can't do anything else. If you do, it will uh, stop the Google Chrome application, you'll have to start over. But if you'd go back to this tree that we were on now, and uh, I'll redraw the tree, you'll see that there's all this added information that was just added now by Smart Copy, the parents, the siblings, and the son. Okay? You can do this also on, uh, on, on Ancestry. So, for example, here there's more information on this Henrik Haber 
rather than go over to MyHeritage, I'm going to show you how to use Ancestry and copy things in. So first I'll redraw the tree here for Henrik. Uh, and you see he has his parents but no siblings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on his profile and go to his Genie profile page. And here you have the address for this profile. If I click on this number here, you see this at the top that in blue, and I copy it, um, now I'll have the profile ID number for this profile. So now I've already uh, prepared for this and gone over and found him on Ancestry. Here's a page for Ancestry. It's the same person. You can go back here and check. Um, and uh, here he is on MyHeritage. Here he is on Genie, October 1st, 1876. Here he is uh, September 1st, 1876. But it's the same picture. It looks like it's the same person. So I can now use Smart Copy on this profile, again, by clicking the blue box. And here now it'll ask for uh, previous destinations, or you can enter in that profile ID and click Set Destination. And it'll now compare the Henrik uh, Haber on Ancestry with the one on Genie, and it'll give you a side-by-side -side comparison. So here you have now this this now there's a conflict in the in the uh, birth date, etc. Okay, and it gives you, for example, siblings. So we can add some of the siblings. You might not want to add the half siblings yet. You can add those from the parents, and I can click on submit, and now the those siblings will be copied over to Genie, and I'll show you that they're there. Now that it's finished. We'll go here and we'll look at the tree. And sure enough, he has these siblings now added onto the tree. You can see them over here. So that is how to use Smart Copy. It's a very efficient way of copying in family by family. That's parents, siblings, spouses, and children. Uh, a tree from Ancestry, a tree from MyHeritage. You could also use it on Find a Grave and a whole bunch of other different websites. And uh, thanks again to Jeff Gentis for developing this app for all of us who use Genie.com.